Nine Cup and Nail Junkies, and I have a tag that I created myself, and I invite any of my long nail divas who can think of something that I don't mention to do a tag of your own. This tag is called What Not to Do with Your Nails. I get so many questions about how do you do this with your nails, how do you do that with your nails, when the questions that they're asking me are the things that God gave me fingers to do things with. So let's get started. These are the things you are not to do with your nails. That's not what they're for. So you guys don't have to ask these questions anymore. Once you see the questions, you will see that they are self-explanatory. And these are the things that you in everyday life use your fingers to do it. So the first thing is do not open up a box with your nails. That's not what they're for. Don't open a box. Get you a pair of scissors, a razor, a, a knife. You know how we do. Do not open a box with your nails. That's not why you put them on or grew them out. Okay? Pick up money. I get this question because a lot of people ask, how do you pick up money off the floor? Carpet is easy. For a tile, you're going to use a piece of paper, a credit card, magazine, newspaper, anything you can slip up under that money to pick it up. Do not open your makeup compact with your nails. Okay? You don't do that. Um, I didn't bring one out, but let me see if I have one here. Makeup Compact. Don't poke your nail in there to try to open it. Use the flat part of your fingers, push it in, pull it up, and open your compact. Don't open it with your nails. That's not what they are for. When you get nails put on or grow them out, continue to open your compact the way you always have. Okay, button up your pants. You do not button up your pants with your nails. People ask me, how do I button my pants? With my fingers. You button your pants with your fingers, not with your nails, okay? The same way that you do it, that is the way I do it. Do not rip the plastic off a package with your nails. You have packages that come in plastic, makeup that comes in plastic. Um, what else comes with plastic around it? No, no, no. Don't take your nails and rip that plastic. No, get some scissors or something. This will save you a lifetime of heartache and pain, a lifetime of splitting and breakage and bleeding. Yes, okay? Open the toothpaste box. Do not open the toothpaste box with your nails. Use your fingers or get something flat like some scissors and put it under there and open your toothpaste box. I'm trying to find... Oh yeah. I keep tons of these razors because my eyebrows are tattooed and I have to take the hair off when it starts growing back. But these are excellent too. I open a lot of stuff with these razors, even the flat part. I can stick it up under something and open it. Don't open stuff with your nails, okay? Next, do not pop the lid on a soda can with your nails. Don't do it. Don't do it. Most of the time I use a butter knife the back end of a spoon or a fork or my daughter don't open a soda can with your nails you can get yourself in a world of trouble by doing that okay do not pop the lid on your shampoo with your nails don't pop that lid with your nails this you know no no do it the way you've always been doing it most bottles of shampoo you can take the flat part of your finger and open the shampoo do not use your nails ladies when you get these nails put on in salon or start growing them out do not use your nails it's not what they're for they will split and break and sometimes in horrible places okay do not poke the holes in plastic seals with your nails I'll tell you what I mean you may get a bottle and this one's already off but you know how it'll have the plastic seal on the top a little silver seal don't try to poke it with your nails to open it Razor, scissors, butter knife, knife, whatever. Just don't use your nails. The breakages, the stupid breakages that you can have can be avoided. Okay, don't clean your ears with your nails. It's very tempting to stick your finger in there and clean your ears. It's not what they're for. It's unsanitary. It's nasty. I mean, if you have an itch and you need to do like this, and you will find most ladies with long nails will do this, for itch but do not clean your ears with your nails that's why a lot of people be like oh it's underneath your nails dirty unsanitary no you asking that because you dirty 
because underneath my nails are not dirty or unsanitary. I wash, I scrub, I do not clean my ears with my nails, I do not dig in my boom boom with my nails. Next thing up, do not pick your freaking nose with your nails. I have had people ask me, how do you pick your nose? I blow it, Q-tip. I am not going to pick my nose. Y'all riding by me in the car and I'm looking out the window and y'all going all up into y'all brain trying to get that out y'all nose. That's nasty. I see y'all. Me and baby girl, we be seeing them pulling up next to us at the red light all up in their nose. No, that's not what I do. And don't you do it. It's nasty. No. Okay. I just have to say that because, oh my God, that's ridiculous. And last but not least, do not pop the top off of items with your nails. There's certain pop top items or things you can pop off with don't do it don't do it it hurts you can break it and if you break it it's going to be a problem a lot of times it will split when they get long in areas where you have skin or meat attached you do not want to do that okay so i think that is it think i got it all if not and i know day by day i miss some things but that is my tag of what not to do with your nails and if you are one of my nail divas or long nail divas and you can think of some things not to do with your nails i invite you to shout out your girl follow along with this tag and let's get it going for some common nail sense okay i'll see you next time we plan our makeup